Hey folks, clouds stay thick across the valley today, breaking a little bit this evening. Yet to see a little bit of late day sunshine, but not much. For the most part, it's been cloudy, but we're tracking a front that's due in the valley tomorrow morning. Now ahead of it, we're mild, should be all night long. But by the time you wake up in the morning, temperatures may still be in the upper 60s and low 70s, but the front knocking on the door. Timing of the front starting to come a little better into focus. Looks like it'll be during the morning hours tomorrow. With it, the temperatures will stay mild until it gets there, but once it goes through, Cooler temperatures will build in, and that should happen by about midday or so. And then the cool temperatures will stay with us through the rest of the day and into tomorrow night. Clouds, yes, probably not much in the way of rainfall. It looks like maybe a slight chance tomorrow evening and into early morning on Thursday. This is midnight tomorrow night, Thursday morning. A spotty shower still possible as a little disturbance goes by in the upper atmosphere. But by Thursday, that's out of here, and the cooler temperatures really take hold Thursday morning. And even with sunshine Thursday afternoon, we'll rebound back to maybe 68, 69, 70. But that's that's probably about it. So our rain chances, slight chance with the front tomorrow, about 10%. And then tomorrow evening when the upper disturbance kind of slides across the top of us, could be a brief shower near the coast. And then after that, we're dry for Thursday and again for Friday. Temperatures right now, looking at this, 81 still McAllen, everybody else in the 70s. We topped out in the mid to upper 80s today. Didn't set any records. The clouds hung in there just a little bit too long for that to happen. Tonight, we bottom out in the mid to upper 60s, a very mild night, 71 at the beach. And tomorrow, we'll reach these numbers in the morning, like Rio Grande City, 68, but the front comes through right away, so it doesn't get any warmer than that. We climb into the low to mid 70s every place else, but as the front sweeps through with a northerly wind, temperatures will drop likely back into the 60s. Normal high for this time of year, 73. We'll probably be above that until the front gets here, but then we'll drop during the rest of the day. Thursday after after starting out in the low 40s, we'll bounce back into the upper 60s, and then Friday, right back above average again with a high of 80. Tracking the front, you look at South Texas, it's not anywhere in South Texas yet, still 82 in Del Rio, 74 San Antonio, 73 in Houston, but you see that line right there. Push back a little bit more. Austin now down to 62. They've dropped 15 degrees in the last hour and a half. Dallas is 44, San Angelo is 40, and Lubbock is 27. So this is a strong cold front, but the coldest of the year is kind of bottom out just to the north of us. And Move away pretty quickly. In fact, there's some pretty good snow going to fall in parts of West Texas tonight into tomorrow. Wichita Falls is going to see snow. They're seeing snow in the Panhandle. There it is up there. For us, we just watch the front come in, and again, the cool air comes in. The warm air gets shoved out by tomorrow afternoon. It's gone. The snow moves out by tomorrow night, and then we get into Thursday. It looks beautiful. High pressure builds in. It lingers into Friday right on top of us. By Saturday, that high pushes away. With that, the wind comes back out of the southeast, and by Sunday, could be enough moisture for a sprinkle or two in the area on Sunday. If you're headed to the coast tomorrow, you can expect winds out of the west, even the northwest, 15 to 30 knots. Choppy on the bay, moderate UV index. Small craft operators urge to use caution. There's a high risk of rip currents two tides for tomorrow. Seas kicking up to four to eight feet. So tonight, 66 for a low, partly to mostly cloudy. Watch out for some patchy fog, especially near the coast. Then tomorrow, we start in the 70s, but then we drop during the afternoon, likely into the 60s. Northerly winds will pick up as the day goes on. As you look at your first point five accurate with the forecast for the next seven days, tomorrow 76 and falling, 44 Thursday morning and back up into the 60s, maybe 70 in a couple of places. Friday, we're back to 80. Saturday into Sunday could be a couple of sprinkles around. The clouds build back in. We're back in the low 80s, though. And we're in the 80s into the early part of next week as well. That's your updated first one five. AccuWeather forecast.